Hey guys and gals, Legend Eternal here, hanging out, making a tutorial video here on how to back up your saved game in 7 Days to Die. Now this is something that I've seen asked a lot in the forums, I've seen people try to explain it through text post, and it just kind of confuses a lot of people. And so that um, that is something that, I, that I've seen asked over and over in several of the streams. One stream I watched today, there were some guys asking about it, and I said, hey, you know, I'm uh, practicing doing some doing recordings and, and postings and rendering and editing and all of that, so it eh, might be a good thing to do just to kind of get some practice myself and help people out. So uh, here we go. Let me tell you a story. <clears throat> now, what you want to do if you're gonna if you're gonna make a save game backup is you're gonna want to have two copies of Windows Explorer open on your machine. I've got them opened up here already, side by side. And the first thing you want to do is find your saved games. Now these are going to be in the same place, and unless you've changed it on purpose, these will be in the same place uh, whether you're playing vanilla Seven Days to Die or whether you're playing modded Seven Days to Die. So this will work for either either version. You go to your Windows Explorer before we before you start doing anything. You want to make sure that you can see hidden folders. So some of these folders we'll be going into are hidden by default. So go to View. And look, if you're running Windows 10, you'll see this, this option bar come up top. And you want to make sure Hidden Items is checked. Uh, if you're running an earlier version of Windows, I don't think this bar is there. But you can go to View Options. And in this tab under View, you see a list of options here. And right under Hidden Files and Folders, you see Show Hidden Files and Drives. Make sure that is checked. So now that you've done that, you should be able to find your saved games. Now, if you've got multiple drives installed, go to the one that your OS is installed on. Most people's, that is C. So we'll go into C Drive, Users, and then find your username and then go under here and find app data you see where it's kind of a little faded uh, that's because it was hidden and I've now that I've made hidden folders visible I can see it so I go into app data and I go into roaming now I don't know why it says it's roaming but for whatever reason uh, seven days to die must be roaming so it's in that folder so seven days to die is one of the first ones listed so I double click it and I see saves right there now, once you get to this point, it's going to depend on what map you're playing. Now, um, most people nowadays are playing Random Gym, but there are still some people that love the, um, the old classic Navis game map. But we're going to look at Random Gym. So I'm going to go into Random Gym here. Now, <clears throat> as I mentioned before, this, is, this works for both vanilla and modded. Uh, for example, I've, this map one is a seed that I used in vanilla. This Kilka is a seed that I use in modded. So uh, now that you've got this, uh, now that you're in this random gen folder, for every seed that you've got a game active in, you will have a folder with that seed name. And so let's say I want to back up my, uh, my modded game, my, and I'm running uh, Starvation Mod, and uh, I'm running it on a seed named Kilka. So I found that. So now I want to come over here in my other copy of Windows Explorer I have open, and I want to create a place that I can save that. Now, this where you put this is up to you. Uh, what you'll want to do is create your own folder you want to store these at. I've got a place on a different drive uh, for my saved games, and I have, have I created a folder called 7 Days to Die Local Save Backup. So I go in there, and I have... Uh, other folders, I just way I organize them. I have my Alpha 15 Starvation Mod folder, and this is where I have my different saves stored. And you see, I have a folder here with uh, numbers that is kind of my convention I use to uh, to name a folder that I'm trying to know what date it was. Uh, so I've got 170414 uh, year, month, day. So let's say I'm going to back up my game from today. So I'm going to come in here and create a folder, new folder, and this is the 22nd. And so I've got this folder. I'm going to open that up, 
and I'm going to take the seed of the game I want to store, and I'm going to right click. You heard me say right click, not left click. We're going to right click. And so I'm going to right click and hold it and drag it over into that new folder that I just created. When I release, it's going to say, give me an option to move here, copy here, create shortcut. I'm going to copy it here. Now, this is where <clears throat> it depends on if, if you, how many times, if, if I happen to not have said right click enough, what you'll have happen here, if you left click, it, it will actually move your seed folder. And you don't want that to happen. If that happens, move it back to where you do and do it again and right click. So right now you see that it's copying, making a copy of that seed from the original location where the game reads it over into this folder where I'm storing my backups. So now I've done. That's, that's basically it. I've made a copy of that uh, saved game. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so anytime I want to uh, restore that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with these same two um, uh, folders open, and I'm going to grab my save that I've that I've got backed up here. You know, this is handy if uh, you know. Let's say you're about to do something stupid in the game, and you want to, you know, eh, if I mess this up, things are going to be bad. Well, I'll make a backup first. It's useful for that. Also, you know, as we know. We're playing an early access game, and some of us are playing an early access game with a work in progress mod on top. So in that case, you know, making backups is important because these early games, they, they tend to have some bugs every now and then, believe it or not. So it's a good idea to keep it backed up just in case you need to restore that and recover from a bug. So let's say that happened to you. You had a bad bug or... You had a horde of zombies overrun your base, and you're like, oh, I really don't want to rebuild. So I'm going to restore a backup I made from a couple hours ago. So you come in here, and here's where your save is. All you do is just grab it. Again, right-click, right-click and drag, and come over here and say copy. And copy it back into the original location. It's going to ask you, do you want to replace it? Yeah, I want to replace that screw-up. So... It's going to just copy it right back over. So when you go, you want to come back into your game after you've done this, the game will be exactly right back at the point where you made this backup. And um, it probably goes without being said, but I'll say it anyway. Make sure your game is closed before you start this process because uh, weird things can happen if you start messing with your save game with the game open. So just make sure you've closed your uh, seven days to die game before you start this process. And uh, I hope this helped everybody. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, feedback in the comments below. Uh, if you liked what you saw, rat a tat on that like button and uh, subscribe if you hadn't already. And uh, that's it for Legend. We'll see you in the next chapter.